Hello guys! In this video I'm going to share how to wire the third brake light on your canopy. This is a ARE canopy and pulse, but it doesn't really matter. And the canopy mounted on Nissan Titan truck. It came already with some wiring, the mass blown fuse, it doesn't work. And I just will take you step by step and how to do it. But let's get started with the wiring diagram. I looked online, there's uh, some useful tips and videos, but no, no one's actually showing the exact wiring diagram that you can understand how it works. This is actually legit real wiring diagram for this truck. And uh, okay, here's a brake light, which is that guy. We have a brake light and for, from the brake light wire is coming down to the pin connector which we will be using for connecting disconnecting if we need to remove the canopy. This is a power side. It's going to 5 amps fuse. Here we go. We'll put a fuse and then we need to tap into the truck brake light. This is one side and another one wire is coming from the bulb brake light down to pin connectors and truck ground but i put this star in this note if you have an import vehicle you tap into the 12 volt side of the right hand stop light lamp which is this one on the truck and american vehicle you tap into the factory hookup which is pretty much the same thing but just to pay attention to that and if you have the uh, turning brake signals on one wire you need to use the logic box but it's another thing you can just uh, google and find how to wire a logic box it's very simple just to uh, split the signal okay let's get started and as you can see there's uh, some wiring was done with the fuse but it's all torn apart it's broken and uh, let's open it up as you can see fuse is burned, it's blown, and it means it was shorted and it stopped working. There's some wiring hanging here, and uh, let's just start it from the scratch from the very beginning and make it work. Okay, 10 millimeters, two bolts. Let's remove them with my tools. Yeah, if this video is helpful to you, yeah, please go and subscribe or if or go just go and watch more videos, it will support my small hobby YouTube channel. There we go, those two bolts are removed now. We just need to slide the tail light out and we'll come out. See? And someone already tapped into the into those uh, brake uh, brake light signal and the ground over here as you can see. Yeah. That's what was done before. We'll, we'll use this setup. They're taking a the ground from the bulb, which is okay. We could take a ground from the vehicle chassis, it's fine. Doesn't really matter. You just need to have a good ground. Okay, this one seems to be a yeah, good connection and uh, won't disturb this. It works. And uh, as you can see, it's coming out here and another end. Over there, yeah. This guy, yeah. This, as I shown you on a diagram, we have a inline fuse, five amps. This one was blown, and uh, the wire from the truck brake light signal, and another is our ground. This is a, a four-pin connector. My canopy doesn't have a dome light. But if your canopy has a dome light, you do the same thing pretty much. You see the ground is taken from the uh, vehicle over here and was feed into the another side of the ground on a pin number two, let's call it, for the dome light. And this one is going to the factory dome light wiring circuit and then on this side will be connection to the dome light itself but i don't have we don't have a dome light and we don't need to worry about we'll just will cut it off because another part of the connector is missing which is uh gone we don't have it 
we just will use the um, simple pin connectors and we can connect and disconnect if we needed to remove the canopy all right yeah i will include that uh, wiring schematic in the video you can always refer to that and that should be fine let's strip the ends one round two three and all good okay on this side we'll be just uh, using this type of connectors they work good let's crimp crimp at the ground and let's do the same thing for the power side see it, it, because I don't have a dome light I don't need to worry about the other two pins as we see here so well, you might have the connector like that it's simple. okay we have those ones replaced and uh, we have ground we have our signal fuse there's five five amp we have another five yeah, if you ha don't have a wiring like this, it was already on a truck, but it just, you know, another couple wires to splice into the brake light and ground. That's it. Okay, oh, good fuse it there. Let's connect our test light. This end to the ground. And uh, this one is to the power. And when I push the brakes, we should see the light came. Keep watching this video by the end i will explain you how to wire the dome lights if your canopy has that and we'll draw the wiring diagram exactly what you need to do it right just keep watching <clears throat> okay let's go push the brake pedal and we should see the test light lit i have my floor jack handle okay i just will push the brakes like so okay just just a sec Nissan Titan okay pushed my brake let's go see brake lights are on light lit so much sun but yeah you can see lit good and uh, we're going to connect the wiring to the third brake light and uh, put everything in the loom, make it secure and work. I will do that and uh, right after that I will explain you how to wire the dome light. Okay. is connected and let's close the canopy and we'll, we'll come we should see the light we'll push the brake again and it should do it okay I need to do it again so hard to do it with one hand okay brakes are on and let's go check our third brake it's on see it's working we got it done are any canop canopies lear pretty much the same way no problem good and uh, as i said already if you have a uh, combined uh, lights with the turn signals and a brake you can take the brake signal wire from the feed to the trailer connector that will do it no worries thank you so much guys for watching very appreciated your time if you have any questions yeah drop them down in the comment section below now our lights are working we're legit and uh, 
I'm going to put those balls back, put everything in the loom. That should be good to go. Simple as that. Thank you so much again. Take care, brothers and sisters. And uh, see you soon. And uh, bye bye now. Bonus footage how to wire a dome light. Okay, you probably will get a connection like this. And as you can see, this wire is red, is coming to 5 amp fuse and is going to the truck brake light, which we did, we wire it. This one is for, to the ground, ground, truck ground to the connector. And then we're taking a ground, like here you can see, and it goes to the canopy dome light ground and it feeds the ground to the bulb. And uh, this guy, which is broken, this is another red wire here, going to the 5 amp fuse and uh, to the truck dome light circuit. And uh, from here will be another red wire is going to the canopy dome light bulb. Here we go. This is as simple as that. And uh, this is a diagram. Yep. This video is a demonstration. And let me know if you have any questions or some comments, uh, suggestions. Very appreciated your input. Thank you guys. Take care.